What secrets in plain sight connect the Freemasons to Stonehenge via the number 33? We are going to take a look at what is likely the most potent alignment on Earth. It runs from the George Washington National Masonic Memorial to Stonehenge via the heart of New York City, directly over Wall Street and within 650 meters of 911 Ground Zero. Besides New York, Washington, Philadelphia, and Boston are all within six kilometers of the line. This means that the majority of power spots in the United States, and indeed in the world, are on a line from the most important Masonic monument in the U.S., and possibly in the world, to the world's most iconic megalithic structure of Stonehenge. The George Washington National Masonic Memorial in Alexandria, Virginia, is fashioned after the ancient lighthouse of Alexandria in Egypt, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It serves to memorialize both George Washington and every American who ever was or will be a Mason. It is also exactly 333 feet tall. At the other end of the line, Stonehenge is 33 meters across, echoing the memorial's height in a sense. For Freemasons, 33 is a most important number. Perhaps the easiest way to highlight the importance of 33 to the Masons is by noting that it is the highest degree a Scottish Rites Freemason can obtain. While all preceding 32 degrees can be obtained by merit and ritual, the 33rd is reserved only for the Chosen Ones. Back in New York, we see that the line passes close to the Statue of Liberty, perhaps the most well-known symbol of the United States. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, one of only four New World building sites in the U.S. with that distinction. Its pedestal rises from a cornerstone laid in full Masonic ceremony, a moment commemorated with this plaque on the 100th anniversary in 1984. In fact, this line passes exactly 333 meters from the Statue of Liberty. Knowing that the Statue of Liberty is Masonic, that the two iconic structures are separated by 333 kilometers just might not be an accident. Looking at Washington, first notice that there is a broken pentagram inscribed in the city street grid. Now take a bisector of the Pentagon War Headquarters and project it until it crosses the Masonic Stonehenge line. Define a circle on this point with radius of exactly 6,666 meters and see that it passes through the middle of the pentagram inscribed in the Washington street grid. In addition, a second radii connects the two apexes of the pentagram. This coincidental arrangement of sixes and fives perhaps is also not by accident when you consider that the Masonic Washington Monument is 555 feet tall, which is equal to 6,666 inches. Expanding our view, we see that our line goes through the tip of the Mississippi River Delta on its way towards Teotihuacan with its famous Pyramid of the Sun. To be precise, the line ends up passing exactly 33.333 kilometers from the Wikipedia point for both the Pyramid of the Sun, the third largest pyramid in the world, and for the whole of the well-known Teotihuacan site. Looking from above, we can see how the Pyramid of the Sun and the Forbidden City in Beijing are aligned with one another. We see that this line passes through the Comox Valley, aligning with 33 kilometers of Vancouver Island coastline and passing within a kilometer of Hornby Island. The Forbidden City houses the Palace Museum, pictured here, which is the most visited museum in the world by a wide margin. At 14 million visitors per year, it beats the second place Louvre Museum in Paris by over 50%. It is also just across the street from Tiananmen Square, site of the brutally suppressed student democracy demonstrations of 1989. Here they erected the iconic 33-foot-tall Goddess of Democracy statue, which was destroyed during the suppression. We'll come back to this alignment in a bit. Back in Mexico, the Masonic Stonehenge line also ends up running less than three kilometers from the shrine on the top of Mount Tlaloc. Named for Tlaloc, the Aztec rain god and most important of their deities. This spot was the jewel in the crown of Tlaloc's places of worship and the site of many child sacrifices to ensure the return of the rains. Thousands of people would make the annual trek to the shrine at the top of the mountain where one child would be sacrificed. For comparison, look at a line from Stonehenge directly to the Pyramid of the Sun. It lies in stark contrast to the Masonic line by having very little human geography associated with it. There is one very significant exception, however, the Sandy Hook school shooting. 
This line goes exactly over the scene of the massacre in Newtown, Connecticut, right through where the front door of the school was. Given that as early as 1906, Leopoldo Batres uncovered burials of children at the four corners of the Pyramid of the Sun, we cannot ignore the Sandy Hook coincidence. Since the Comox Valley is connected to Teotihuacan along this line, it's reasonable to ask what the valley's relationship to Sandy Hook is. First consider that the valley has hexagonal geometry written in its bedrock that is oriented to Machu Picchu. We will choose the anchor point of the line to Sandy Hook based on this geometry. This apex point has a far greater significance that is beyond the scope of this video. It is covered in the first video of the series, Sacred Geometry of Machu Picchu, Freemasonry and the Comox Valley, which I highly recommend watching if you're interested in looking deeper into this subject. From this point, a bearing to Sandy Hook runs almost exactly 45 degrees to the Machu Picchu line and passes through the middle of the International Peace Garden. You might not have heard of the International Peace Garden before, so here's a clip from that first video highlighting the importance of the garden, despite its remoteness. This world-class attraction is clearly marked as being Masonic. Not only are there two openly Masonic buildings in the garden, but the one that seats 2,000 people depicts a giant compass and square. The other building, stewarded by the Masons, is the Order of the Eastern Star Peace Chapel, built right on the border between Canada and the United States. Order of the Eastern Star is a Freemasonic appendant body open to both men who are Master Masons and women who have specific relationships with Masons. Incredibly, the International Peace Garden has not one but two 9-11 memorials. The outdoor memorial is composed of a jumble of beams that are actually from Ground Zero, while the indoor memorial is in the Masonic Peace Chapel, centered around a book with all the victims' names lying open in ritual. Once zoomed out, we can see that Teotihuacan and Sandy Hook are very close to being the same distance from our Comox Valley point, thereby creating an isosceles triangle with their alignments. This clip is from the foundational video of this series, Sacred Geometry of Machu Picchu, Freemasonry, and the Comox Valley. I highly recommend you start there if you're interested in looking into the subject. As always, there is more to be said, so I've created a short video connecting the Masonic Capitol Building in Washington and the Georgia Guidestones to what we've already seen at Sandy Hook and the Statue of Liberty. This video is exclusive for those who sign up to the newsletter at hornbyislandmysteryschool.com. Thank you for watching.